So how you started, uh, how you get involved in martial arts training? Well, I get involved at the age of 14, basically, I think much earlier because I had to fight in school always in Germany. And, uh, but the technical part with age of 14 and 76, uh, there's several different styles. Why? I mean, see, I've been in all these fights, my interest was always in how effective is a style to protect myself, how it works in a real self-defense situation. So when I start the martial arts, I start with some uh, traditional style arts like uh, Taekwondo, Karate, some Judo. And uh, most of the time it was very difficult to fight in a real situation because the motion, the economy of motions wasn't that... Uh, effective in a real situation. So I was searching for some uh, something, I didn't know what, but I was searching for something which works in a real situation. And one day I read these magazines and all these martial arts magazines, I found an article about my Sifu, uh, Keith Ronald Kernspecht, uh, articles about Wing Chun, and I said, well, this guy uh, sounds logical and the movements are, looks funny a little bit. And I uh, went to one of the seminars and he just destroyed all my concepts I had before about uh, fighting styles because I didn't know much. I know a lot, but not much that I could compare with Wing Chun. So this was the first step I uh, get involved with Wing Chun. This mm. was in Have you had any other kind of training, like in boxing or wrestling? Or yes, uh, like as I said before, I'd start with five year taekwondo. I did uh, a year judo and a uh, little bit involved with jiu-jitsu stuff. Fifteen year, uh, like a hobby wrestling, 
with uh, some very tough guys, very good uh, wrestlers. I did, uh, let me see, around five years Muay Thai boxing, seven years Western boxing. Well, I'm doing since 14 years scream. Uh, my grandmaster, uh, René Latosa from United States and Bill Newman from England is my uh, master. And Wing Chun side since 15 years under Sifu Kernspeck and my uh, grandmaster Liang Ching. And this I do professional since 1980. Well, uh, so this Eskrima and Wing Chun, we have a relationship. It's like almost a marriage since over 20 years. Even the friendship between my Sifu and my master Bill, it's longer than I've been in the organization. They know each other since the uh, 70s. And Rene's Eskrima, my grandmaster Rene Latosa's Eskrima, is from the concept similar to uh, Wing Chun, so it's very straightforward and doesn't waste any time for a movement that don't work in real. And this is what goes very well with the uh, Wing Chun and, and their good friends. And my Sifu was always somebody very realistic. He never wasted his time either for uh, techniques which is useless. So that's the reason why they become very good friends. And uh, we work since then together and I'm very, very happy about this. So you have, uh, you have spent a long time in the Wing Chun system. Uh, how you have seen evolve the art? from the beginning when you started to nowadays? Uh, what do you mean exactly by that? Evolved the art. The Did you general? change, yeah, from the day you started the approach to the other way, was start, uh, the emphasis? I think the arts change always, I mean, because there was a new generation come up. See, in the past with Bruce Lee, everything was a little different. People went to all these Kung Fu movies and stuff and people took it very serious. Now people uh, don't take them anymore so serious because then the full contact kickboxing time came in, uh, in the 80s and then uh, now it's uh, some people are, you know, things change. People come, different influence, everything, the martial arts always change. And Wing Chun, I mean, the most other styles keep basically traditional most of the time because of the way they move. And Wing Chun is a, uh, is a style which is created scientifically and always goes with the time this means with all kind of attacks, because if, if something changes, Wing Chun goes with it, because Wing Chun is nothing static, it always moves, it's, it's alive. And this is beautiful on Wing Chun, because you never are too old or too young, or you never are style or a style, or you never traditional or not traditional. In Wing Chun you have everything, and it's so beautiful. And Wing Chun has all the three major philosophies in it too, like Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism. It's integrated in the Wing Chun, and most styles always a separate, they are Chan or Zen Buddhism or uh, Taoist, like the uh, Tai Chi or something. So this is what makes Wing Chun complete as a system. With this philosophy and with this, uh, with this movement, with this techniques to be able to defend you in all ranges, distances and all situations. And you don't need anything more. <coughs>